This is our last night in Veracruz, and Jeannie found this restaurant that's about five blocks out of the historic center, and it's pretty desolate over here, to be perfectly honest. I'll give you a quick view, and it looks pretty good. First impressions. The place is called Miraloco. And I gotta tell you, it looks New York City ambiance. With, you know, the industrial look of the whole place. And this place has a lot of history. Here's our chefs. From here. We're gonna put you up there on YouTube. Okay, and you can see that even the tile is still here. And it looks like this place back in the day was a dance hall. Okay, um, our waiter, Roger, knows the whole history of this place. And I'm going to introduce you and have him tell you a little bit about it. So, what can you tell us about, this is our, our waiter, Roger, and he speaks he's great. Owner. He's the owner. Ah, okay. So he- the owner? Oh, I no. thought you were the owner. He, um, he speaks perfect English. He's worked in New York City, California, and Canada. So he's had a lot of uh, time in, in, the, uh, in North America. So what can you tell us about this place here? You might, you might have to pull the mask down so we can hear you. This place was so many years ago, a uh, brand new speaker. It's called Excelsior. Right. So, the, they, this place has uh, abandoned too many years. And the owners, they say the place and say, oh, it's really good. It's uh, like a rescue, the, the old construction of Veracruz, the right. old historic center of the Veracruz. So, they say, okay, let's go to put a restaurant here and let's go to call Mira Loco. Mira Loco is a expression, it's a Jarocha, a Veracruz expression. Is most for to say, hey, Mira Loco is the translate of Mira Loco is hey man, hey crazy, right? Hey dude, so that is the, the, the meaning of the name, right? So, this is a food, a Veracruz food. We have too many dishes about Veracruz, uh, traditional dishes. It is the kind of ceviche, we have the fish, the fish is local, it's fresh. Um, this is a really good place to come to dinner and uh, to make a drink. This is the actually we have in the, the Saturday we have a, a live band with many kinds of music. We have jazz, we have a song jarocho, we have many kinds of music. It's really nice, it's really it's, it's a family place and actually too is a, a place to go to play with your friends and take a drink. It's, it's really good. One of the things I noticed when I first walked in here is the whole industrial look here. And this is probably the way it always was. But you, as you know from working in New York City, they actually spend thousands and thousands of dollars to try and create an environment like this. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's funny, it's funny as all hell because they'll spend $50,000 tearing apart everything just to give it this, this industrial look. Right? So, I mean, it really is a very cool place. And we're looking forward to having some dinner here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ron. Yes, here's, here's our food right now. Wow. That looks really good. Look at all that cilantro. I got the pork tacos. Jeannie got the fish tacos. Look at all that cilantro that's mm, on there. I love cilantro. He brought us over a little special from the kitchen as a comp. And I gotta tell you, this is this might be the hottest habanero sauce we've ever had in our life. Well, I don't know if it's habanero, but... That's what he said. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. How's your fish tacos? Sorry, I have to swallow the fish. I absolutely delicious. That's how my pork tacos are. They have... Mine's, pork, with mine's pork skin with some cheese and a red sauce in there. And it is delicious.
Mm. Mm. We just finished dinner and it was fantastic and I want to go over and tell these chefs they did a great job. I wanted to say thank you. It was really, really good. I'm glad you make it. Very, very good. Thank you. Yes. What is your name? Yunren. Yunren? Yunren. And, and Daya. Okay, thank you so much. It was a very good dinner. <clears throat> so that was that was a really good dinner that Jeannie found and we really enjoyed it. And I would recommend going to this restaurant for sure. And Roger, the waiter, spoke perfect English. He does. Thank you.